What's going on today? This is Uberman here, and today I'm here to talk to you about uh, what you should be looking for in a car to do UberX with. Um, right now I'm in downtown Indianapolis. It is Friday, a uh, very busy day. Um, we've got Uber ice cream going on today as well. Um, just a lot of stuff going on, so it's pretty busy. I'm not going to take up a lot of your time here, but what I want to get into is uh, specifically what to look for in a car that you're going to be using for UberX. Now here's the thing, there's a lot of people out here, um, downtown Indianapolis, they're riding around in some, some bigger cars, uh, which is fine, absolutely nothing wrong with uh, driving around in uh, mid-size large cars, um, luxury cars, nothing wrong with that at all. But here's the thing, if you're going to be doing this um, mainly as an entrepreneurship, um, you're wanting as much profits as you can get. You're, you're minimizing profitability with a larger car. The reason being, bigger cars typically require more maintenance, they use more fuel, um, they're more expensive to purchase, they're more expensive to maintain. When you're talking about uh, profitability, you really need to be looking at a subcompact car or compact car. Well, this is what I've got right here. Um, I've mentioned this in one of my previous videos. This is a 2007 Honda Fit and it maintains 34 miles a gallon. That's combined city and highway traffic. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing special to look at. But what it does is it will seat five people, including myself, fairly comfortably. Now, most of your customers, you're only going to have in your car for 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes maximum. Um, so, you know, it doesn't have to be exceptionally comfortable with leather seats, heated seats, all that. That stuff is nice. But, you know, at the end of the day, let's maximize profitability here and minimize maintenance cost. So, what you should be looking for is something small, something exceptionally fuel efficient. Stick with four cylinders. Um, really no reason to get into anything bigger than a four cylinder. Um, plenty of room. There's uh, plenty of room to put all of your devices without getting in the driver's line of sight here. Um, you're also going to want some kind of a camera. At least I, I would recommend having something that can uh, keep track of your driving in case of an accident. I have an app here called uh, Watch. You can't really see it. But anyway, it's called Watch. Um, they have it for the iPhone and for Android devices. I haven't tried it on Android device yet. But anyway, um, I have it hidden behind my rearview mirror here. So you can record everything. It keeps track of your speed, your exact GPS location, G-forces, um, front to back, side to side, uh, time stamp, date stamp, everything. It's got everything you need in case of, a, of an insurance claim. Um, and as you can see, it, it hides fairly nicely behind my rearview mirror here. Stays out of my line of sight for the most part. Um, I upgraded the stereo, you know, Bluetooth, um, USB, auxiliary import, C, uh, input, CD player. Um, a lot of people have the iPhone or an Android phone and they or an iPod, and they get in the car and they want a Bluetooth sync to it so they can uh, listen to their own choice of music. Um, so I have that available. Um, GPS, quality GPS is a must in, in this line of work. I use a Garmin Nuvi 3597LMT. Uh, I bought it about eight months ago and it runs 400 or so dollars, at least it did then. Um, of course, I've got my iPhone S for my Uber application here, which is running. I've got an iPhone 4S up here, which is pretty much dedicated to uh, video recording. Uh, this car has 130,000 miles on it. Um, don't sweat the mileage so much on whatever you're buying. Um, the main thing is a clean car. You want it clean inside and out. Since I'm on the clock now, it was just washed, it was just detailed. Um, get yourself a, a steering wheel cover. I don't care if it's a new car or used car, get a steering wheel cover. You're going to spend a lot of time in this thing and uh, this will help protect. I've got a leather wrapped steering wheel. This is the sport model with paddle shifters. Um, paddle shifters on both sides. Um, but this will help protect your steering wheel. Also, it keeps your hands fairly comfortable. Um, as I said before, you want room. You, know, you want your customers to be 
as comfortable as possible. Um, this car has exceptional headroom and a lot of room um, for a grown person. I'm six feet tall. I can fit back here without feeling like I'm uh, scrunched up. Um, my knees don't even touch the seat. It's, it's very comfortable back here and plenty of headroom. I prefer a hatchback and I would recommend the same to you guys and here's the reason. In the back here, whenever a customer gets in the car, I let them know if you're thirsty. I got a cooler in the back. And in the cooler, I keep tons of bottled water. Um, I tried different soda pops, Mountain Dew, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, Coke. Those didn't really go over all that well, but uh, bottled water really works. And you don't need a big, comfortable car to get five-star ratings. Um, it's really about the customer experience. You want to give them the best experience you can, and that doesn't necessarily mean they have to have a ton of room. Provide them with uh, things like bottled water. Um, I always ask do they want the windows down or would they prefer the, prefer the air conditioning. Um, I always keep gum in the car for customers. You know, uh, believe it or not, this will go a long way in getting you a five-star rating. Um, and keeping your car smelling good too, okay? I have had tons of compliments on how good my car smells and I don't do anything special. Here's another advantage of a Honda Fit here. These seats actually fold completely up like this. Not that that really means anything to you guys, but um, I had a wheelchair um, guy once only one time in my whole time doing this and he needed uh, he needed his chair in here and it was no problem um, lifting these seats up letting him sit in the front but these vanilla air fresheners I keep hidden under here those things the customers really love them um, of course the seats also fold down this way um, flat if you need them to um, for safety reasons, I got the model that's equipped with uh, full side airbags all the way down, front and back, knee bolster um, airbag. It's a cheap car. Um, I can tell you right now with the miles on this one, you could go pick one up on Craigslist right now for around 5,000, maybe 5,500 um, with the current mileage. Um, 1.5 liter, four cylinder, five speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters. It's not a fast car, but uh, in sport mode with the paddle shifters and a uh, VTEC, of course, it, it definitely seems fairly quick and it keeps up with traffic no problem. Um, once it hit 100,000 miles, I started using better fluids in it. Now I'm using Mobile One. Um, it's an extended performance, 15,000 mile oil, 15,000 mile oil filter. Transmission fluid's been completely changed out with full synthetic. Um, Coolant's been changed out once. Uh, maintenance is a must when you're doing a job like this. Um, this car has no leaks of any kind. And that's what you should be looking for in a vehicle to do UberX in. Something small, something fuel efficient, something cheap to maintain. If you need an engine for this car, you can go on eBay and get one from LKQ with uh, 32,000 miles on it for about $600 delivered to your door. Uh, transmission runs four to five hundred dollars with the approximate mileage of uh, thirty to forty thousand miles delivered to your door as well. It doesn't have to be a Honda Fit, but this is the car that I actually love to do this job in. And once I uh, trade it in, I completely intend to get another Honda Fit, maybe a 2012, 13, 14, something like that. But uh, if you want a car, it's going to be cheap. This car has needed nothing. I'm still on my factory shocks, factory struts. Um, there's no power steering, um, hydraulic power steering, I should say. It's electronic, so that does away with having to worry about power steering leaks. Your high pressure line leaking, low pressure line leaking, power steering pump going out, um, seals leaking on the rack and pinion. It's just an electric motor. Um, saves a lot of weight. Does, a, does away with a lot of unnecessary things here. Um, it's a great car. Find something. If it's not a Honda Fit that suits you, find something similar. Um, small cars with good room, excellent gas mileage, cheap maintenance, and of course if you have a major breakdown engine transmission, look into that before purchasing the car. How much can you get the engine or transmission replaced for? Um, 
also I highly recommend getting your windows tinted. Uh, my windows are as dark as legally allowed. Um, I don't know why, but I just love a car with tinted windows, and apparently the customers do too. Um, I've had a lot of people say, hey, it's almost like a limousine in here, as dark as it is, uh, especially at nighttime, it gets really, really dark. Um, if you're not interested in a Honda Fit, um, I'll give you some ideas of other cars to look into. There's a Chevy Avio. I personally hate those cars, but it's another subcompact car. Um, you have the Nissan Versa. You have the Nissan Sentra. Um, the Chevy Sonic. The Chevy Cruze. Uh, Ford Fiesta. I, I really don't think a Fiesta would make a good one. Um, but a Ford Focus would definitely be a, uh, a great car to do this in. Just keep the cost of the car as cheap as possible, maintenance as cheap as possible, fuel economy as high as possible, and you know to make up for the you know lesser amount of room compared to some of the other Uber drivers, provide water and provide uh, provide bubble gum. Make sure you're courteous, keep your car clean and smelling good, and uh, you know you can make a good deal of money doing this. This is all I do for a living. I do this uh, Friday night, Saturday night. And typically I work from uh, around 5 in the evening until about 5 in the morning. So you're looking about 24 hours a week. And it supports me. And it supports my family. And uh, I just thought I'd throw this video out there, giving you a, kind of a tour of what my car is, what my setup is for what I've been doing for the past, uh, I don't know, 8 months or so and give you an idea of what you need to be successful doing this. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment, hate, whatever you want to do. Um, any questions, hit me up. I'm always available to answer them for you. Uh, so message me or post a comment and I'll, I'll respond to it as quickly as possible. Um, if you want to get signed up for Uber, um, give me your name, number, and uh, email address. And I will email corporate office and I will get them to uh, set you up. Appreciate the... Uh, views and have a wonderful weekend.